I want to give a quick shout out to my patrons. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for your support. Hey y'all, it's Kate from The Literary Apothecary and welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while. Um, life just got crazy in November, but I am back and I am really hoping to get more regular videos out again like I used to coming in December and especially next year in 2023. Um, by the time I was ready to film videos again, I realized that my weekly wrap up would really be more like a monthly wrap up because it's been so long. So I decided to just wait and do my November wrap up all together instead of putting out one video that was super long and then another video right after that with mostly the same stuff. So here I am to do my November wrap up, my December TBR. I got a lot done in November because I didn't have many videos coming out. So I feel like I got a lot more reading done. Um, so let's just jump right in and start talking about the books that I read in November. So I've definitely read 12 books in November. I'm hoping to get maybe one or two more books finished by the time November wraps up. Um, but definitely 12 books. I will talk. So let's talk about those. I finished Jacinto's Remnant by Karen Travis. This is book two in the Gears of War series. This one I gave three and a half out of five stars. I thought the prose was easier to follow in this book than the first book, but our characters still fell flat for me and the flashbacks were still a little bit wonky. I finished 12 Blades in Contempt by Jordan Derrett. Um, this was a self-pub book that the author so kindly sent to me. I really enjoyed this book. I gave it four out of five stars. I thought it had a great plot, some good characters, but it read a little bit young to me, which caught me off guard. I wasn't expecting it to read so young. I finished A Handful of Souls by Stephen Rice, another self-pub book. Um, this one I also gave four out of five stars. I thought it had great characters and a fascinating magical system, and I can't wait to read more in this world. Her Body and Other Parties by Carmen Maria Machado. This was a collection of short stories that I was supposed to read in October. I didn't realize this. I didn't remember this until I saw Leslie at the Nerdy Narratives, um, one of her weekly wrap-ups that mentioned we are budding reading this together. So I added this at the end of my October reading that bled over into November. This one I gave four out of five stars. I didn't necessarily enjoy this book. Um, I thought it had great writing. Machado's writing style was really, really well done. I couldn't stop reading this book, but the content of it was very disturbing. Um, it was one of the weirdest books I've read ever. Augustus by John Williams. I gave this a five out of five stars. I thought the epistolary format of this book, John Williams prose, was so well done, well, well, well written. One of my favorite books of the year and you'll see in my carryovers, I've already started a reread of this. I listened, first I listened to the audiobook version of this and then as I was listening to the audiobook, I knew I wanted to reread this with the physical book. So I had the words in front of me so I got some of those amazing quotes from the prose. So, I have already started my reread of this book. Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, the illustrated edition. Of course, this is book three in the Harry Potter series. I gave this one five out of five stars. My favorite thing about this book was that on almost all of the pages, we had background images that went along with the story and the locations that they were at. And I thought that was such a great addition to this book. Anvil Gate by Karen Travis. This is book three in the Gears of War series. I gave this one four out of five stars. I thought that they had a better, more effective use of the background, the flashbacks that we get in these chapters. They tied more into the story that was happening. Um, and we got some more character development in this book, so the characters weren't quite as flat. The Importance of Being Earnest by Oscar Wilde. This I gave five out of five stars. This book was hilarious. Oscar Wilde's wit came through so well in this book. I just loved it. It was so great and it came at just the right time. Um, Sundial by Katrina Ward. This one I gave three out of five stars. I couldn't stop reading it. I had to know what happened but also it was one of the most disturbing books I've ever read. 
and it the narrative style was a little bit disjointed for me it left a lot of questions still for me and so um i'm glad i read it but it wasn't i felt like it could have been done a little bit better um Rastless by samuel johnson we just had a live show for this this past weekend on my channel um, this one I gave three out of five stars. I have no idea what actually happened in this book other than these two people went on adventures and talked to different people. Um, as Stephanie said in our live show, it was forgettable. Um, it just felt like a meh read. It wasn't bad. It wasn't great. It was just meh. Finished The Last Man by Mary Shelley. This one I gave five out of five stars. This was unexpected because I read the synopsis and I was expecting your typical post-apocalyptic story, but this was anything but the post-apocalyptic story. Um, Mary Shelley just continues to wow me with her writing and the way that she's able to convey emotions of her characters to her readers is just unbelievable. And then the last book that I absolutely finished in November is The Interview with a Vampire um, by Anne Rice. This one I also gave five out of five stars. I absolutely loved this book so much. I did an immersion read with this where I listened to the audiobook along with the physical book and I thought it was just absolutely fantastic. I can't wait to continue this series. Hopefully 2023, I'll continue with this series. And I have a fun video planned for this review. I think I'm going to do the a comparison of the book to the movie to now the new AMC TV series, all with Interview with a Vampire. Um, I've learned that the TV series kind of takes inspiration and material from the first six books of this series so that one might be a little bit different to review but i can't wait to do that so first i have to rewatch the movie and the tv show before that video can come out but that's something fun to look forward to in the future now i'm hoping to also finish father Goyet by balzac and um coalition's end which is book four in the gears of war series by the end of november but if I don't finish those in the next couple days, those will carry over into December along with my reread of Augustus by John Williams. So those will be the books that I will carry over into November. I'm hoping to have at least one of those finished by the end of November also. Um, so let's talk about my December TBR. Most of the stuff that you hear on this December TBR, you've already heard me talk about in my Reindeer Readathon TBR. Um, so feel free to stop watching now if you don't care to learn anything more about these. But I'll talk about what I'm reading, planning on reading in December and a quick synopsis and why I'm looking forward to reading those books. So first we have Demons by Fyodor Dostoevsky. This is a group read that will be held on the Codex Cantina Discord. This we're going to be reading from December to February about one part per month we'll have reading sprints and live shows talking about this and i can't wait to get back into some russian lit i'll be reading this with some of my favorite people christy and stephanie and tiffany and evie and una and everyone else joining us it's gonna be a ton of fun i can't wait demons is inspired by a true story of a political murder that horrified russians in 1869, we've got, of course, the humor and hilariousness of Fyodor Dostoevsky along with the ideology of murder, which you know um, Dostoevsky is great about balancing those two things. Um, of course, we have Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, the illustrated edition. This is book four in the Harry Potter series. And this is part of my buddy read with Leslie at the Nerdy Narrative and Stacy and Channing and everyone else that's been joining us during this read-along. Um, of Books and Bagpipes by Paige Shelton. This is book two in the Scottish book mystery, bookshop mystery. And this one I'm buddy reading with Stacy. We're doing kind of one of these books every December, I think we've decided now. So last year we read um, The Cracked Spine, I think it was called. Um, and so now in book two, we have our main character back, Delaney. She has to travel to Castle Dune 
to retrieve a hard to find edition of an old Scottish comic. While admiring the castle from the outside, she spots a dead body in on the roof and the comic is torn to shreds. Um, so then she has to figure out what happened to this guy, why the comic is torn to shreds and also escape a murder charge. I'll be reading Fractured by Gordon Bauman. This is going to be my self pub book of the month. This is, um, also, if you want to know what um, prompts I'll be reading these books for, go check out my Reindeer Readathon TBR video. I will link that in the description below. So Fractured is about a teenage girl who stumbles out of an alley in Ottawa concussed with no memory of her life. Fleeing for her life, she quickly learns that her name is Zoe and that she is extraordinarily skilled in the martial arts. This sounds really fascinating to me. Zoe has to go and both find her identity and fight for her life and it just sounds really, really fascinating to me. So I can't wait to read that. The Restaurant at the End of the Universe by Douglas Adams. This is of course book two in the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy series. So facing annihilation at the hands of the warlike Vulgans is a curious time to have a cosmically displaced Arthur Dent um, desperately in search of a place to eat. This of course we know is going to be hilarious because that whole series is just great. I can't wait to continue with that. Speaking of continuing a series, I'll also be planning on reading Radon, Radon by Brandon Sanderson. This is the second novella in the Skyward series, and I believe, if I did my math correctly, the fourth book in the series. Um, and this one is from Alanix's point of view. So this takes place just about directly after Starsight and um, Alanik is basically reacting to everything that's been happening in Starsight. So we get it all from her point of view. Um, I also have, again, The Game of Kings by Dorothy Duna on this TBR. This has been on a couple different TBRs, so I'm really hoping to finally get to this. This is book one in the Lehman Chronicles. We have irresistible hero Francis Crawford of Lehman a scapegrace nobleman of elastic morals and dangerous talents whose tongue is as sharp as his rapier. In 1547, he returns to his native Scotland, which is, of course, threatened by England, and he's got to get together a ragtag group of team to fight for Scotland. Um, I also have another book that's been on my TBR, The Embroidered Book by Kate Hartfield. This is a sweeping historical epic, takes place in 1768. We've got two sisters, Charlotte and Marie Antoinette, and there's romance, betrayal, and hidden power. They use magic to redefine their lives, and I can't wait to read this one. Um, just a couple more. We've got The Violent Conspiracy by Brendan Slocum. This is the Wine and Crime Book of the Month for December, um, a mystery it's a mystery about a black classical musician whose family heirloom violin is stolen on the eve of the most prestigious classical music competition in the world. I can't wait to read this mystery. We've got The Legend of Blackjack by A.R. Whitman. This was my patron pick of the month for December, picked by Lena at Lauren Lullabies. Um, this is a coming of age fantasy adventure complete with full page illustrations. It begins on a stormy night in Chicago, but Jack Swift's true destination lies far, far away. Um, I can't wait to read that. I've heard such great things about it, and I got the audiobook um, from the author himself, so I'll be doing an immersion read for that. I also have the last, I think, three books in the Gears of War series, hoping to finish that off in December. Um, I can't wait to see where this story goes because the writing has gotten better and better as the books have gone on, so I can't wait to see where this ends up. We have our Joan Didion essay of the month, of course, Letter from Paradise. Um, not sure how to say this last part of the essay title. 21 degree, 19 degree, 157 degree, 52 degrees west, kind of 
um, coordinates. And if I am able to read all of that, then maybe I'll also be able to get to Origin Stories by Jennifer Swift, which has Michaela Stevenson, a Goddish drunkard, drunkard mercenary. There's a found family. Um, she's got to fight pirates and aliens and also rescue a kid all at the same time. If I don't get to that in December, that will be my January self-pub book of the month. But that's my December hopeful TBR. It's a big one, I know. We'll see how far I can get. Um, we'll see how many points I can get for my team Nutcracker and the Reindeer Readathon. Um, so let me know in the comments below, of course, what your favorite reading moment was from November, what you're looking forward to reading the most in December. Um, as always, thank you all for your constant support. Um, and thank you to all of my new subscribers this past month. I've had a lot of you guys. I really, really appreciate your support, especially during November when I didn't really have a lot of videos coming out. Um, as always, my Patreon and my Discord information will be in the description below. Keep reading and I love you all to the moon and back. Bye.